Boy, friend, a question. Do you know why people always stop and watch a blacksmith at work? Because he's riveting. <laughs> oh, it's good to see a new face in this sad hole. Oh, of course, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Osbrecht, the local master of hammers and anvils. Uh, do you need your blades sharpened?
Ha! Friend, I wish. But the only task I could use help with might be a bit too delicate for you to handle. But as your master goldsmith, then feel free to prove it, and I'll have work for you immediately. There's just not enough of them to go around. And now that we're on lockdown, there's not much demand for my services either. Ever since we lost our great mine, I've been working with scraps sent over here from Camelot. Which one? Because we had two. Both shut down, unfortunately. Well, that's a good question. But I'm afraid I don't have an answer for you. One day we received an order to set off explosives at the entrance. Some keepers protested. They were asking about the miners inside. But the higher-ups decided to go ahead. They buried the miners alive. Maybe it was for the best, to be honest. The people who worked there, there was something wrong with them. And the iron they brought out of the mine, there was something wrong with that, too. Well, at first, the workers were terrified. They kept telling stories about whispers in the dark and that kind of thing. Then they started saying that when they were mining the ore, well, it seemed to be singing to them. We all assumed they were just overworked, you know, not getting enough sunlight or fresh air. But it was more than that. Things got worse. Some of them went mad. I've heard horrible stories about those miners from my friends who were stationed at the East Gate. The captain had no choice but to hang them all. If you were anywhere close to the East Gate, you must have seen the blood leg. That's where the miners' blood went. At least that's what the stories say. Nothing special about that one. You can see for yourself. Its entrance is at the beach near the East Gate. With the materials mostly depleted, it made no sense to dig there anymore. We did get some solid iron from there, but that was when I was still young. All I know is that ever since they sealed off that mine, there haven't been any more monsters creeping out of it. That makes me happy. Simple pleasures in life, you know. Wait, now that I think of it, I might have a task for you. You seem like the kind of person who could wander around this damned island with no fear of getting stabbed by some bandit, right? You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but... I'm so bored here. So bored! It would be nice to work on something other than Keeper's Blades again. If you happen to wander near the Forgotten Cemetery, keep your eyes open for any old relics. Bring them back, and I might be able to come up with something special for your weapons. Magical, I mean. Shh. It's one of those things that everybody knows about, but nobody talks about openly, you see. I've learned how to infuse weapons and armor with certain powers. It's a family secret passed down from my grandfather but it's based on ancient druidic magic. It's not something you'd want to advertise here. Not with all those Camelot banners hanging around. Well, if you're not up for hunting for magical artifacts, you could always bring me some upgrade materials. They can work wonders on your weapons. Basically everywhere. But if you need them, like right now, I'd start in the sunken village. They had a decent workshop there. And I'm sure the bandits didn't loot at all. Not with all those monsters creeping around. Huh. It's for Dan, isn't it? That ungrateful bastard's still on the wall. You don't have to do that, kid. I know it's for him. It's okay. And I forgave him a long time ago. And now that I think about it, it was a hell of a prank. <laughs> well, I 
may not be angry with him anymore. But that doesn't mean I'll work my ass off so that his doesn't freeze. Here's an explanation of how to make it. Feel free to help him out yourself. Sir, I haven't seen you before. I wasn't expecting any guests, and you don't look like a new recruit. And yet, Odrin lets you in. He's not drinking again, I hope. Most unfortunate. But that explains why you just strutted into the horns. I'm afraid I'll have to take action. 
The name's Fiergus. And I assume you already know that I'm the quartermaster here. Now, state your business. And please, try to be convincing, or the walls of this fortress will be the last thing you'll ever see. Yes, I know. And that's why you're still standing in front of me. However, these pens were only given to certain people. They mean that in times of trouble, these people will always find a safe haven here in the Horns. And this makes me wonder, what happened to your friend? Where is he? If what you're saying is true, he must have had a deal with someone well above my pay grade. And that leaves only the captain. However, if you're lying, then you might as well have just confessed to the murder of a knight of the round table. But nobody's that much of a fool, I think. Fortunately for you, I've seen my fair share of morons in life, and you don't look like one. Fortunately for me, this pen only means that I'm to make sure you're safe in the horns. Nothing about helping you out with whatever you're up to. And let me guess. If you have friends among the knights, then you'll be wanting to talk to the captain, right? Well, that ain't happening anytime soon. Because I said so. What? Did you really expect that you could just enter our keep and head straight for the captain's quarters? There wouldn't be much point in having walls and guards here if anyone could just do that, would there? Anyway, welcome to the Horns of the South. Make yourself at home. That's one of our tags. Every soldier gets one when they pledge their loyalty. I just hope the body you took it from was already cold, because killing a keeper would land you in some serious trouble. You know, here's what I'm thinking on that. If you stumble over any of our fallen keepers out there, bring me their tags. Sure, they're sworn to stay here till the bitter end, but they have families who deserve to know what became of them. It's part of my duty, but since I can't send any more beyond these walls, maybe you could lend a hand. I'll pay you for every tag you bring back. to find me if you come across any more. First of all, you have to prove yourself trustworthy and capable. I can't let just anyone into the captain's quarters. He's a very busy man, you see. I don't want to waste his time. We've been having trouble with the dead lately. The kind that don't want to rest in peace. There are more and more of them roaming the area. It might just be the weirdness, as it has been steadily creeping closer from the north, but somehow I doubt it. Seems like the problem lies in the old cemetery. As far as I know, the fog hasn't reached it yet. You could go there and find out what's happening. There is a local legend about a dark druid named Slaughter? Slaudier? Slaudig, that was it. He was a necromancer rumored to be able to raise the dead and make them do his bidding. It's quite an old legend, though, so unless he managed to raise himself from the dead, I doubt he's behind this. After you leave the keep, just turn left and then stay on the road. Here, I'll mark it on the map for you. The captain forbade anyone from leaving the keep, so I couldn't. And truth be told, I didn't particularly want to. We don't get many recruits, and you're... well... Your words, not mine. It's old, 
From what I've heard, it even predates the horns of the south. The keepers and the people from the village below used to bury their dead there. But after the flood, it's been pretty much abandoned. Yeah, damn druids. They flooded a village of innocent people just to show everyone they're still in power. Fat lot of good it did them. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad we got rid of them. The things they could do were unnatural. Good. Try not to get yourself killed and get rid of whatever's been causing the problem. If you need to rest, you can sleep in the barracks. Play in a royal chamber. But it's better to sleep under a roof than under the stars, right? Especially in this horrible weather.
Who goes there? Are you the one responsible for all that racket? People here are trying to rest in peace, damn it. You should be. These folks fell into their eternal slumber a long time ago. But some of them have turned out to be very light sleepers. Not their fault, but we should at least try not to wake them up. I'm telling you, ever since people started burning their dead, it's like they've forgotten proper manners in places like this. My name's Huardok, and I'm the keeper of this place. I look after the dead, or at least try to. It used to be much easier where they stayed in one place. Now I need to keep making sure they don't stray too far from the cemetery. But I'm not complaining. A little exercise is good for the body. Dead, alive, what's the difference? I am here. I always have been. And I always will be. Until the day I'm released from my service. Truth be told, I'm not quite sure. Has it been a long time since the wave came and swallowed the village? That was when people stopped coming here. It's like the sea washed away the memory of this place as well. I... I don't remember much of what happened afterwards. I must have fallen asleep for a while. I know everything that happens here. If you're looking for some juicy gossip, Becca from the third row south still has no idea where her husband is. They were supposed to be buried together, you see, but he never showed up. The scoundrel! Everyone here thinks he got remarried and chose to rest with his second wife. Not me. I think he probably got eaten. Oh, that would be Master. He's been at his experiments again, I'm afraid. Getting the folks around here all... agitated. Putting them back to sleep again is going to be such a chore. <sighs> master is Master. He commands the dead. I don't know much else. I'm here to serve, not to ask questions. Dunno. Usual. Glowing chalk, candles, and dead bodies. I even saw some new faces recently, but they didn't stay long. It might be. Huh. Do you think it's odd that I don't seem to know that? Maybe I forgot. My memory is not what it used to be. Who want me to betray his trust that easily? We barely know each other. I wouldn't tell you even if I could. He promised to bring back my family. Truth be told, it's been so long that I'm not sure it's even possible anymore. But I'm happy where I am. The dead need company too, you know. The folks here were forsaken by the living. At least I can make sure they're not lonely. Interested in local history, are you? Good, good. The memory of those who came before us should be preserved. I can let you in. There is a small fee of five gold coins, for the upkeep of the cemetery, of course. It's constant work, as you can clearly see, and my petitions for additional funds seem to have fallen on deaf ears. Bless you, kind stranger. <sighs> Those old bones are not what they used to be. Here, just take the key. Be careful, though. There's evil dwelling in those crypts. Oh, and I hope I don't need to remind you not to rob any graves. It's terribly rude, and I'd rather not deal with the complaints.
Careful there! Try not to step in the array. It's... it's advanced magic. Very fragile. Me? Of course not. Slavdor would be at least 300 years old. Why would you even ask that? Well, your guess is wrong. I'm not Slafter, although I do take an interest in his work. It's all very fascinating, you know. That man was ahead of his time. <sighs> Necromancy. Ugh. Such a strong word. I do dabble in the dark arts, yes, but I wouldn't call myself that. Merely an adept of the darker arts. Slafter was a real necromancer. Fascinating man. Way ahead of his time. What isn't? He was the first one to experiment with death magic. It wasn't altogether forbidden, but those before him seemed to fear taking that step. Either because of misplaced morals or superstition. They did not see. Or maybe did not want to see that death is merely an end, not the end like everyone thinks. You see, the dead, especially those who suffered sudden and violent deaths, rarely actually want to leave this world. Nearly everyone has regrets. And those don't go away just because you die. While more willful or vengeful individuals can abandon their humanity and continue as wraiths, most of the others need, um, a bit of a nudge. And then they can go on. Of course, uh, at the moment they lack... Uh, cognition. But, uh, it's a work in progress. Stop! But what I am doing is very important. Besides... I'm hardly hurting anyone. Anyone important, that is.
very well. Do you know what I like most about the dead? They don't tire, and they don't feel pain. But you will. <laughs>
you're back. And? How did you like our crypts? I always found them impressive. And quite cozy. Yes. I felt that. He must have been surprised. People like him tend to forget that it can happen to them too. I guess I'll do what I always do. Clean up, put everyone back to sleep, and then take a little nap myself. Someone will come along again, sooner or later. We can't have them seeing such a mess, can we? Well, this master wasn't the first one. I'm sure he won't be the last. This place is very popular with their kind for some reason. And they always leave it in such a state. It's not like it would hurt them to pick up a few bones and put them back in place. If you want it to be, sure. But I don't mind you dropping by from time to time. We all appreciate the company here. Especially me. Although, I won't be able to have another chat with you for a while.
Thank you, friend. Let me repay your kindness, though I don't have much. I can at least tell you about something I saw a little while ago, eh? It might be interesting for an adventurer like you. See these rocks near the shore? When it gets dark, sometimes I can see a light there. I'm not sure what it might be, though. A bandit camp this close to the horns? Ah, impossible. The Dariata? <sighs> no way. They wouldn't hide like that. Maybe something else entirely? Nah, it's probably nothing, but maybe you'll find something interesting or valuable there. <sighs> Fair enough. Here, have this potion. It helps me with my pain, so if you suffer as well, it'll help. Yes? Did you find out what's been happening out there? Great. A necromancer. Just what we needed. It wasn't the dark druid from the legends, was it?
thing you got rid of him then. We already have the Dol Riada almost in our doorstep. We don't need an army of the undead on top of that. You did well. Maybe it's not so bad having you here. Unfortunately, no. You're capable and eager, and I appreciate that. Just between us, I wish I had more soldiers like you. We'd bring the South back to its former glory in no time. But still, you've just arrived. 